the um, it's not a related thingy attraction. So um, I'll use the butterfly method. So seven times three is twenty-one. The twenty-one there, and then four times two is eight. And then um, you do seven times uh, seven times four, which is. 28, so that, yeah, but yeah, so you put 28 there for your denominator, and then you do 21 plus 8, which is 29, and then that's not, um, a, that's a, um, what is it called again? Um, something. Umbrella? Yeah. No! Um, on proper fraction. And what makes it an improper fraction? 29 is bigger than 28. Okay. So you have one whole, and then um, 29 minus 1 is 28, and 1, 28. So 29 minus 1 is 28, so. 20, yeah. 29 so, minus 28 leaves. 1. 1. So it's 1, 1, and 1, 28. Okay. Thank you, Nada. You are correct. Anyone else get one of those answers? Okay, can anyone explain or could someone prove that when you do 20, this one here, if you got this answer, could you prove that you're right? Something to do with that one there. Ahmed, come on up then. Wait, Both Ahmeds, if you want. Maybe you guys can have a discussion or. So I want to know how can you prove that? Because when you first put it, you write the was good. The multiple the of four. These two are the same. These two are the same. So we're gonna times. We're gonna times. Um, four by we're seven. gonna times four by seven. And what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. Times this by seven. And four times two. Which is eight. Seven, four times two. seven times four. And then seven. And then four times two. two times two. Which is eight. Good. Yeah. Eight. And the 28. 28 is our denominator because both of them equal the same thing. Yeah. And 21 plus 8 equals 29. 29. And then this is an improper fraction which is because the denominator is like how many holes like pizzas can fit in the hole. And this is over the hole. So, so it's one hole, one hole number. And twenty-eight ones. Twenty-eight ones? Yeah. Uh, what? One twenty eight. One and twenty twenty-eight. Excellent. Okay. One twenty-eight. Thank you boys. You've both got the same answer. You did it a different way and it still worked. Well done. Perhaps could I have uh, the Mariam, do you know how to prove or turn this I sorry, my fault. What I should have perhaps said. This is known as a mixed number. This is a mixed number. So you've got a whole and some bits. Could we turn this back into an improper fraction? Anyone brave enough to have a go and explain that? Would you? Oh, go on, Colin. Let's see if you've got this one. 28 times one equals 28. And 28 plus one equals 29. So, that looks like you've turned it. I'm going to test you. I'm going to see. If I give you another one. If I gave you... I'm going to test your multiplication here. If your answer was 25 out of 6. 25, 6. Could you turn that number or fraction? So this is, the, is this a mixed fraction or an improper fraction? Improper. Why? Because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Excellent. Do you know how to turn it into a mixed number? No. Right, okay. 
Nada, come on up. Just don't, cause, no, because you're right. You, you're actually right. The way you prove that is excellent, Cutter. Nada, can you come up? And, oh, sorry, no. Let's go, Misk. Sorry. Nada, did you want to? No, okay. All right, go on. Okay, so it's. And explain to everyone here. You're the teacher. The last teacher, like Mr. Blair, was terrible. So six can fit into 25 uh, four times. So four points. How do you know that? Because six can fit into 25 four times. What's six times four? 24. What's six times five? Uh, a 30. Ah, 30 is too big? Yeah. So, and then 24, and then there's one left. So. One six. Okay, so this is the correct answer, four and one six. Could you prove to everyone how you can turn that mixed number back into a improper fraction? Six times four is twenty-four plus one equals twenty-five. And that's how we go. Twenty-five out of six. Correct, you explained that well. Thank you very much. Good work guys. Excellent work.